Hello, this is Nick Schneider, and I'm going to go over macro I wrote in ImageJ in order to correct a video sequence for translation. So let's go ahead and open up ImageJ. The first thing we have to do is install the macro, and we can do that by going to Plugins on the File menu, Macros, Install. Navigate to where we have the file saved, in this case it's called NMS Fixed Translation Version 1. We open that. ImageJ tells us that three macros have been installed, and we can see these by going back to Plugins, Macros, and seeing that we have the first one, which is called Add in Advance, with a shortcut key of A on the keyboard. Next, we have Movie Stabilize, and then Movie Stabilize from File. So we'll see what each of these does. Now we need to have a video to edit, so I'll bring in our NanoWire video. And I'm just going to load the first 10 frames uh, for speed's sake. And I'll use a virtual stack and might as well convert to grayscale. All right, so here we see we have our nano wire. And if we move through each of these frames, we'll see that there's some small translation. And in the very last frame, there's a large jump. And we want to correct for that so it looks like the nano wire is staying in the same place. So we need to click on our point tool, which is about a third of the way over on the image J GUI. And this will allow us to select points in the image. Uh, we want to be on the first slice, and we can click on a point. So I'm going to follow this corner of the nano wire as it grows. So I'll click on it, hit the keyboard shortcut of A, and we'll see that that brings up the region of interest manager, and it logged the point that we selected. Now in between, once you hit that, it also automatically advances to the next frame for you and moves the point out of the way so that you can easily see where you're clicking. So we'll go through and we'll do this using the keyboard key A between every frame after we click. And we'll go through each of the frames following our nano wire along. And now once I hit A again for the last frame, it'll know that we're on the last frame and it'll automatically do the stabilization for us using that movie stabilize function. We'll see that a couple pop-ups happen when that runs. So the one that's most important is this open file header and really this is the file that we want to save so we want to give this some name and this is going to save each of the translations uh, that we calculated from following the image sequence so that we can reapply them to this movie sequence at a later point. So we'll save that to the desktop so we can easily retrieve it. We can close this results file that's not really needed and you can click don't save and now we'll see that our video has been stabilized so that our nanowire looks like it's staying in the same place. Very good. So now you could save this video, compress it, do whatever editing you want to it, now that it has been fixed. So we'll close this video. I'm not going to save it right now. Close the region of interest manager. And I will now show the functionality of doing a translation after you, using the data file that we saved. So let's bring in our movie file again just the first 10 frames and we'll see that we have our original movie and so when this you need to make sure this window is selected but then you can go back to plugins macros movie stabilize from file it's going to give us a pop up and it's asking us oh what file do we want to open well we want to open the test file that we saved click ok it'll go through and now we've reapplied the stabilization all right let me know if you have any questions thanks much